Be careful with your flip flops. Be careful, okay? Sandals. Sorry. You're about to be a title of a, of a vlog. Friday's over with. I'm headed home from work and I think we're gonna go out and eat at Gondolier. It's an Italian restaurant. Um, today was a very, very stressful day. Uh, I don't want to go into in detail with it, but uh, my boss was, uh, how, you say, how you say it, uh, let go today. So I don't know what my future holds as far as, because I mean, I really liked him and everything was going good until this happened so I don't, it's a big chaos at my work right now so you can imagine how shocked I feel and just not knowing my place yet so but hopefully the evening's gonna be better because I'm gonna be home and uh, luckily it's gonna be the weekend I can just recharge my battery and get back at it Monday and I don't even know what I'm coming to Monday but I'm fixing to head out and go to eat with my family Okay, it's Saturday, and guess what? We're not making French toast. We're actually gonna go pick up some breakfast and probably stop at Walmart again. We're, we're just interesting people, you know? Hello. 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 Let me. No, you're not licking the camera. It's not that we're not interesting people, it's just that. to me. <laughs> It's just that we are, um, things happen to us that causes us to go through a bunch of BS. What's that have to do with that? What do you mean? I don't well, know. You, you just said that we're not interesting people. But it's not that we're not interesting people, we just go through BS that everybody's like, you, you've got to be kidding me. Are you mm -hmm. serious? You know? Because I say it to myself all the time. You know? Are you serious? This is what a lot of stuff to offer me right now? Come on. But, thank God, he has pulled us out of the miry clay. Ha! <laughs> I don't know. Zoe, what are you doing? Chicken And raising Zoe is an adventure all in itself. I hate this purse. Do you know where my purses are at? My puss? Do you know my puss is at? My little puss? <laughs> no. Come on, let's go. Thanks. Yeah. Don't let me forget I got my key in uh, the concert car. So we are heading to Golden Girls. We're trying to turn over a new leaf and um, exercise and be more healthy in our eating habits and just like down the more dangerous than I am. Yeah. <laughs> I guess that's why we're going to go to a place to food. <laughs> <laughs> At least we're going to walk. Oh, no. Don't, don't, don't do that. We're just doing a little driving around now after we ate. What's wrong, Zoe? Hey, what's wrong? <laughs> I pooed again? Does it stink or something? Ah, sorry. I can't help it. I just ate. What are you eating? And it's raining now. What have you eaten? Sucker. Sucker. Say, can you dig that sucker? Say, can you dig that sucker? 
say, can you dig that sucker? Can you dig that sucker? <laughs> let's, just, let's tell mommy that when she gets in. Okay, it's Saturday night right now, and uh, Zoe's just got out of the bathtub and she's getting ready for bed. But I want to show everybody we moved, we took today and moved Zoe's bed around in a room to try to get her some room to play. It was, the bed was this way, and we moved it over that way. So it, it worked out pretty good. So she's got a lot more room to play in the center here. We got her new easel where she can do her drawings set it up in here because we didn't really have a space for it uh, before then uh, this is behind the door we're not really supposed to have anything in front of the window but uh, if there is an emergency I you know anybody can go on top of the toy box but this worked out pretty good and then I actually did the spare bedroom to where I can get in my desk a little bit easier It is a mess in here right now, but uh, the bed was long way and I had all the way up to the edge of the desk to get in and out and I had the filing cabinet underneath the desk so I couldn't really sit at the desk. But I moved the bed down this way. This is our old bed and uh, soon I think Zoe's going to have it. Hopefully the one day here soon this will be a nursery uh, for our second child and uh, get rid of most of this stuff. Uh, this is our desk right now. Uh, I've got a laptop that doesn't work right now. And some of Zoe's toys we're probably gonna be getting rid of. But that's what we did on Saturday. We moved a bunch of furniture and made things a little bit better. Hey guys, it is Sunday. Sunday. And we are heading to church. Oh man. What is it? I think I my sunglasses. Aww. Oh, I got them. <laughs> so we're headed to church right now. Uh, Whitney's getting dressed still at home, of course. She might make it by the time the doors close uh, and we're, or by the time that we're dismissed. <laughs> uh, so that's where we're going now. Our plan is to go and start getting Zoe some, um, reward chart for uh, her doing going good things. Right way. I'm going the right way. Um probably Yeah I'm going the way that I go to school I know. No. Okay. I want to go to okay. See it goes like this. That's like that. Zoe got her a happy meal toy. And we Oh, oh I seen it. We are on our way to uh, Chinese. So he does not like Chinese. So we had to get her happy oh, meal. Oh, yeah, yeah. I don't love to go find me. Yeah, well you got your happy meal, so you're gonna be just fine. Everything's fine. Okay? And then we're gonna go to the that dollar. Pop in the floor again. It did. Did it, where did it go in the floor? On my side or daddy's side? I can't I can't reach back there and get it. We'll get it here in just a second, okay? So what, what made you um, want to come with mommy and daddy? You just love us? She first sat, said, I want to go with Nana. So she started going, we got the car seat ready. and Gonna go bring it to her and she changed her mind all of a sudden. What made you change your mind? I don't know what um, come in the car. Come into the car, she changed her mind. Um, was it because you found out that Nana wasn't going home? <laughs> That's what I thought. <laughs> Okay, that's what I thought. Tell everybody why you were late today. No, okay. Oh. All right. Well, okay, don't worry about it. I'll get it. Okay, so I was fixing to walk out. Well, I'd heard some commotion going on, okay? okay First and foremost. Really no, we're getting out. Um, and the thing about it is, is our neighbors have 
been evicted, okay, across the hallway. They weren't they bad. They started moving out yesterday. Yes, they weren't bad neighbors, but they just had, they, they always had this huge bag of trash, and they had dogs, okay, um, which is permitted there at where we live at. They were, um, what do they call them, service dogs, okay. <clears throat> I don't really know why they had service dogs, because I don't think he was in the, the service or anything like that, I don't know. But anyways, long story short, um, they would have these big huge tr bags of trash, and um, I, and I, 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 they were huge, and they would leave them out there for days on end, okay? And um, when, one, a, a couple of times we've seen what, mice run out from behind them? Yeah, mice. I think you told I think you told the story before, but what happened today? They were uh, arguing. Okay, so they got evicted, right? So, um, <clears throat> they um, were making a bunch of ruckus. Well, first off, they live right above our uh, landlord, okay, and she has gotten on to them several times, okay, and um, but they were slamming the door intentionally, okay. And I heard that my other neighbor um, that lives next to them on the same side, um, she goes, opens her door to see what was going on, and she noticed, I guess, that they were moving, and she just asked them, I heard her say, um, my baby's asleep, do you mind to be, just to keep it down and not stay in the door? And she didn't say it, like, in a bad way or anything like that, and, and, and they kinda, um, they kind of made the um, the remark, um, whatever, or something like that. I, I couldn't really hear very well, but <laughs> I was listening um, what was going on. So, um, and we had never reported them, but we had never reported them. We had never said anything to them. Hello, maybe, or whatever. Uh, that but, one. Go that one. No. We're going this way. So then... Um, I guess somebody might have called her. I don't know. But anyway, the landlord ends up coming up there. I heard her voice. Mm -mm. So then we get up. I hear her go. So I when I come out of the bathroom, because when we're in our bathroom, we can hear what's going on. But so I come out of the bathroom and I notice, well, Tammy's there. That's our landlord. And she's there and <laughs> she's like starting you know she's like guys i understand you all are moving could you keep it down there's people here that's you know trying to relax it's sunday and her husband comes up the, the people that are moving her husband comes up and he goes he sees tammy there and he goes what in the hell are we doing now or something like that you know and of course it's sunday and she goes just do you mind it's sunday people are trying to relax please don't use that language here and he goes, well, it don't matter. The Holy Rollers have already left for church. And I'm thinking to myself, okay, he's thinking about us because we were the only ones that had left, okay? Um, and I was, I was ticked off. It was, it was all I could do to keep from opening that door and said, well, this Holy Roller's still here, so shut your mouth, you know? But I didn't, okay? So, anyways, um, she said, uh, something got said to the, to the sense of, you know, um, they, they reported us or something. I don't know how it happened, but we got brought into the situation where well, they were the ones that reported, we all know that they were the ones that reported us or something like that. I don't know how that brought, got brought up or whatever, but she's like, no, they didn't report you guys. I'm not gonna eat. You know, believe it or not. I come up here periodically and I've seen that you all have trash up here. Yes, and you're gonna eat your stuff. Yeah. You know, and it's it's like, you know, I had to sit there and wait for them to leave because I know if I'd have went out there then have donuts there. And um if I went out there I, I was afraid I was gonna say something and they're much bigger than me, believe it or not. Um and he was just he was just a mean person today and I had no backup or reinforcement. Zoe and David were gone, and so there I was. Yes, dear. They have donuts in there. They sure do. Well, let's go eat them right now. So that was the reason why I was late for church today, because I had to wait for the uh, heifers uh, 
the garbage heifers to leave. And they still have a bunch of trash in their We're apartment. Eat them so, all, Daddy. Anyways, that okay, was here it. we go. Okay, it's time for fortune cookies. You open this. Look, take it like this. The secret of success is constant consistency <laughs> of purpose. <laughs> constancy. <laughs> never heard of word. Constancy. Yeah. I'm not good at English. Let me read Zoe's, okay? What's it say, Zoe? That's good. Oh. oh. And hers is in success is in the details in the bed. <laughs> Secret of success of constancy of purpose in bed. <laughs> we always say in the bed afterwards. My mom came up with that. I No. See what you're saying. No, I gotta read it. Okay, you read it. Go ahead and read it. I am all the app. Be nice. Oh, that's good. The shortest distance between two people is a smile. <laughs> Let me see. Okay, we're at the dollar store right now. Forget it. I can't do that. We're at the Dollar Tree right now. We're gonna get Zoe um, some kind of like behavior chart or chore chart. So she can start putting stars on and actually receiving rewards. Okay, we are taking a walk to the Walgreens because we're out of tea. It's a good thing that we have a Walgreens at the end of our road so we can just walk down there. You got any money? I have a wallet. Oh, okay. Oh, daddy. Hey, so anyway, Zoe, get this. So that's where we're going now. And we're trying to discuss to Zoe about the uh, behavioral and chore chart that we're going to do for her. And she's just not getting it. Why not that? I don't know. We have to see. What? It's going to be a surprise, okay? It says surprise box. It's in a surprise box. Be careful with your flip flops. Be careful, okay? Sandals. Sorry. You're about to be a title of a, of a vlog. <laughs> she thinks I'm waving at her. We're waving at the net. Zoe thinks we're waving at her. Look, look. Hi. I'm going backwards. Look at the clouds. Whoa! The clouds look like a big thing of cotton. Yep. It's pink. Yep. I'm getting beat up. Well, let's just hope this behavioral chart helps out with Zoe because, yeah, it's not that she's a bad kid, okay, by no means, she's not. She has um, a tendency to tell a story at times that she needs to be doing something or she wants to show you something, um, which is, and then when you get onto her, it's dramatic. It's Hi, drama. guys. It's just like our aunt, isn't it? Guys. Oh, just like my sister. Now we've got our teas, and we're headed back to the house. So we got her sucker. And it's getting dark. We're going to get yours. we got a long way to go. Did anybody bring a flashlight? No. No. Holy Toledo. 
Well, it is Monday, Zoe. <coughs> Zoe. <coughs> and Zoe has a, a fever. Unfortunately, you can't tell that, but <laughs> I went in to get her up for school this morning, and we have a 101 fever. So, Zoe, come here and tell everybody what's wrong with you. Let's see. Let me see your frog. Oh my! Come here. Tell everybody what's in your what's in your throat. What's in your throat? Um. What is it? He a goes. Frog. A frog is in her throat. I can see in the mirror. Yeah, but he's gonna hide from you. Huh? He won't. He won't show you his face. Let's go see in the mirror. Come on. See, he won't show you his face. <laughs> Zoe had her front two teeth pulled when she was about two years old. It hurts. Surgically. Um, I get more tooth one day. Yeah, you'll get two more tooth, two more front teeth one day, and they'll be big hey, people's be teeth. Um, top teeth. Yep, they'll be top teeth. I don't know what I'll do with you. <gasps> Let's do something. I got to see. Okay, um, we can... You, you can take the tooth out and under a pillow and the tooth fairy can come. Yeah! This do that. Well, you gotta wait until your teeth get loose. You can't just go in there and start pulling them out. See? Mm -hmm. Mine doesn't come out. No. Okay, so Zoe, what we're gonna do is we're and gonna... And fell. Yeah. Listen, so what we're gonna do is we're going to take your Tylenol. It tastes like bubble gum. Okay. All right. Not food No. All right, hold on. Let's... Let's get this done. Hey everyone, it is Wednesday morning and I'm headed to work. It's a uh, been a pretty rough morning because Zoe's been home from school for the past two days. She's been sick. Uh, she felt a little warm today and she's been coughing and stuff like that. And she's kind of a little bit groggy from the cough medicine she had last night. But we had to take her to school. There's nobody really to watch her today. and. But I think she's gonna be okay. She's doing a lot better, but she's still not completely better. And um, I'm hoping that Whitney can try, try to get off work early to go pick her up. I hate for her to be there all day. But I'm headed to work and it's Wednesday. It's gonna be a busy day for me today. <clears throat> I'm gonna try to make it to church tonight, depending on how Zoe's doing. I'll probably have to bring her with me. Um, Sorry we haven't vlogged in the past couple days. We need to get back on this routine a little bit. It's just sometimes it's hard to. And you get a lot of these boring shots of us in the car all the time. I know that kind of gets old, but that's about all we have time to vlog. So uh, I don't do that at work and everything. And Whitney can't, so maybe we'll try to vlog a little bit more and get this out by the weekend. So. Um, getting ready for work. Zoe and David just left uh, for school. She wasn't feeling good this week and I don't look like I'm <laughs> I have my mirror um, for putting on my makeup right here. So um, Zoe's not been feeling good this week. Um, I kept her home for the past two days. I went to work yesterday. I was off Monday because she was sick and I had no way of getting a hold of anybody quick enough to and it's just one of those days when Zoe finds out she's sick, she wants mommy or daddy. But daddy had to be at work because he's training for this new job. Wow, David's not missed work in a long time. Hmm. Anyways, I'm just going to let you, you know, in on a little bit of info. Um, we have been trying to conceive. And this is what they call our TTC journey, trying to conceive. Uh, so if you ever see that, that's what that means. It's an emotional roller coaster, but I have told myself that I give up. I just feel like, you know, 
expect the worst and hope for the best. That's all I always what I've always been told. I'm on my third round of Clomid and my doctor is told me that that after this we're going to a fertility specialist. I've got mixed emotions about that. I don't know. Not for anybody else. Just for myself. Am I ready to go through this? I've just started school. Which is an online schooling. Um, and I told myself. And everybody's like oh my gosh why are you doing this? Why don't you actually get out of school? And blah blah blah. Well. I really can't. Um, the doctor told me that it's now or never. So, especially with my history, so that's that. Anyways, long and, and, and it's just uh, one of those things where, you know, it's been such an emotional roller coaster. We had David check. David's fine. Everything's good on him, um, which I'm glad. I'm so glad it's not him. It's me because there's more stuff that can be done. I think so for the woman than for the male. I don't know. Maybe not. Maybe I'm just. I don't know. But anyways, I'm ovulating. Everything's perfect. Everything's going just right. My numbers are showing as if I was, I could conceive. There's still hope, you know. Um, I'm coming up on the uh, time right now where I should be ovulating. Um, I'm at that window where it's almost there. So, um, just keep, just keep me in your prayers, okay. And um, just pray that God's will be done, okay. So, and I think you guys... Uh, if you've got any suggestions that's not mean or ugly, um, please put those in the comments below. And um, we really could use your encouragement right now. Because sometimes it gets kind of down and out. So, um, hope you all have a great day. Be blessed. Because you are blessed and highly favored. Alright, I'll see you all later. Hey guys, it's Thursday and I'm headed home from work. It was a pretty good day. I did a lot of stuff. Uh, my brain is fried and now I'm heading to uh, Walmart uh, because I think Whitney is picking up Zoe from school and then I'm just going to meet her there. Maybe we can surprise Zoe. Not a lot of the stuff going on. It's payday so all we got to do is pay bills and have not, about nothing left. That's usually how it goes. But I think we're just going to uh, get what we need from Walmart and pick up something quick to eat and call it a day. Uh, tomorrow is Friday. I just can't wait for this week to be over with. It's just been dragging by pretty slow. But I'm really enjoying my new job, my new position in the job. And uh, I didn't. when I first started it, I, did, I was looking at everything I had to do and I was scared to death because of everything that was going that I had to take care of. But I, I think I'm pretty proud of myself that I picked up so much knowledge and pretty much know a lot that about 80% of it that happens. And uh, I picked it up pretty quickly in two weeks. So I'm going to go in here and surprise Zoe. Hey. Hello. <laughs> what? You not happy to see me? <laughs> <laughs> Look at me! You could do it! Fidget spinners! What about 18, David? Yeah. That'll work. Fidget okay. spinners. No, what, what are you calling them? What are they called? Mm -hmm. Say it. Fidget spinner. Oh, you said it right. You said spidget spinner. Hey! Bumblebee! Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. got you a um, ring because your old one's diamond came out of it and it was scratched all the heck. So And I got too big to wear it. We're not going to go there on that. Anyways, um, 
we're at the butt walk and I gotta ask David a personal question. David, what was the coupon for? 